back in 2016, I was just supporting President Trump. I'm from Santa Barbara, so I always had to be outspoken because it's very liberal down there. Um, and then 2020, when all the rallies started up for Trump's second election, I went to 10 a weekend everywhere, all from Santa Barbara all the way down here to Huntington Beach. Once Biden took office, uh, basically everyone kind of just left the state and went their own way. And I was like, why? We were having fun. Everyone was like-minded and President Trump is still gonna come back. So might as well build my own base, have our own group. I noticed that when you said that Biden took office, you put it in quotes. Can you talk a little bit about why? Uh, rigged election. There's more votes than people that actually voted. Can you talk about something that, or a few things that Trump did in the first term that you were hoping to see like reenacted in a, in a potential second term? We're at an all time, in, all time high in inflation in our country. We need to get that back down. We need to actually finish the wall and continue this pro-life movement across our country. Um, I'm sure you heard it's something a lot of people here are talking about today, but just like last week, Trump was convicted by a jury in Manhattan. Can you talk a little bit about if that's changed anything for this election and how that might have an impact going forward? Oh, it riled people up even more because basically it just showed how corrupt this system is and how corrupt this country is.